Welcome to Investigation 5.2, Politics of Boys and Girls. Once again, we're going to be looking at categorical data, and we're going to be analyzing it in two-way tables yet again. So our focus question for this particular section is, suppose you have recorded the counts of different preferences by group in a two-way table. How can you use those counts or percents from the counts to decide if two groups have the same preferences or not? So we're going to be playing around with a little bit of data. That is very real life. Smoking. Suppose you are interested in learning about the effects of parents' smoking habits on their children when they're adults. Use the data from the table below. So we have various data in here. If we look, we have adult children who smoke. It's a very low number, which we like. And we have adult children who do not smoke, which is about three times the amount, which is also something we like. We want to have fewer smokers in this country. So if we're just looking at those amounts, let's look at the percentages of those guys. We have 400 in comparison to 1780. Where did I get 1780 from? Well, 400 plus 1380 is approximately 1780. So now what we can do is we can find percentages. This is about 22% of this data, so that means this is 78. We can also do the same thing for the next few. So I'm going to add in a little bit more information, and I'm going to use a slightly thinner pen. So we have 2239 for this amount. We have 1356 for this amount if we were to add up these two and add up these two. So let's figure out 416 divided by 2239. That as a percentage is 18.5%. That means that non-smokers is 1823 divided by 2239 which is equal to about 81.4%. So I rounded up the other one, so that's why it's 0.4 and not 0.5. We can also see 188 in comparison to 1356 is 13.9%. And lastly, we have 86.1% for this data. We can finish adding up some various totals. We have 1,004 for non-smokers and 4,371 for smokers versus non-smokers. And we have a total of 5,378 people that were surveyed. So now we need to figure out some various percentages that will help us do this. Percents of adults with at least one parent who smokes. Let's look at this box. So we have essentially adult children and we want to look at how many of their parents smoked. So looking at the adult children who smoke, we're looking at this and this data, but leaving out this bit. So we have 816 and we're going to divide that by 1004 and we get 81%. As well, we can do the same thing. We have 1380 plus 1823, and we're going to divide that by 4,307 or 4,371, and we get 73%. So that's kind of interesting. There's it's like 8% less people, not a lot, but 8% less. As well, we can figure out the percentage of adults who. Uh, adult children who smoke, so essentially as they grew up, did they start smoking? And we have 40 in comparison, or 400 in comparison to 1780, and we have 22% of those. We have 18.5% in this one, and we have 13.9%, almost 14% there. So looking at that information, we would be able to say how many people who of adult, how many adult children don't smoke in comparison to their parents as well? 22 plus 18.5 plus 13.9. We're gonna, we would have, it looks like, of the people that don't smoke, there is a 45.6% number of people who don't smoke, even if their parents did or maybe they didn't. So looking at that data, we're going to fill in a little bit more information, answer some questions. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can see the table and these questions. So if we have both parents smoke, your chance of smoking is 22%. If one parent smokes, it's 18.5%. 
And for neither of your parents that smoke, we have 13.9%. So now we need to do a little bit of analyzing of that data. Does the table show evidence that if a parent smokes, then their adult children are mo more likely to be smokers? So essentially, we are looking at the difference between this information and these two bits of information. So essentially, if you are from a, if you don't have any parents that smoke, there's only about 14% chance that you might. Whereas if you have both parents or one parent that smokes, it's a 22 or 18 and a half percent chance that you'll start smoking. Is that really enough to be statistically valid? Is that enough of a chance? Sure. It's enough of a difference. 8% is quite a bit. So sure, there is a slight increase in chance. Oops, chance, not change. Chance that they will smoke. In fact, it's 8% more likely. And then it also says, does the table show evidence that adult children of non-smoking parents are smokers? And that's, that, that's this data here. Does it show evidence that adult children of non-smoking parents are smokers? And yeah, it does. Yes. 13.9% of kids could end up smoking even if their parents don't even if their parents don't so that's perhaps maybe they're getting that influence from friends peer pressure that sort of thing or maybe they just think it's cool and it's a way for them to de-stress regardless we don't want to use that sort of stress. We are bigger people than that. Either way, we can see that how, and that is how we can use two-way tables to analyze data. If you have any questions, as always, please ask, and I hope this helps. Thank you.